What's going on y'all and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Let's talk about the custom mystic banner that just dropped and I want to update it for 2023 as a lot of these have fallen in or out of the meta as well as a lot of buffs and nerfs have been added since last year's banner. On top of that guys, quick disclaimer, if I hover or skip past the unit really really quickly, just in my own personal opinion, I don't think they're worth the bang for your buck in terms of mystic spent. That doesn't mean your favorite unit is good or bad, that's just my own take. I want to focus on the stuff that I think is really really going to accelerate your account progress. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, we're going to start from the top and work our way down. I'll add timestamps and remember, I'm going to move through these some of these very, very quickly. So, first on the list we have Ruel of Light. Kind of outdated guys. There's a few Legend players that can make her look really good if you're in down for that Frenzy 10 style where you're really, really taking a long time. But she's been out of the meta for a while, so I would highly advise avoiding her. But she's always going to be solid. One of the premier um, revivers in the game. Low priority though, especially for newer players. Fallen Cecilia, going to be maybe middle priority unit for your summons. There's a lot of free accessible knights i say free but you know Roz is free you have units now like special change r that are so insane fallen cecilia still deserves some respect she's still an amazing knight but i think she's fallen down a bit and other units have climbed up so probably middle of the pack definitely not a high priority for newer players as well judge kise this unit probably guys is just low priority i know she looks amazing but she's just not that that good right now and i don't think she's going to be going anywhere so very low priority unit Arbiter Vildred, kind of the same thing. Still decent, though, for farming PvE. If anyone still does that, dog walking, not really a thing anymore. And for PvP, there are so many counters. This guy, anti-extinction, anti-CR push, double tap units. Um, I don't think he's very good uh, outside of very, very new player uh, RTA, or PvP, I should say. Um, so try to avoid picking him unless you really, really like him. Now, Dark Corvus. This is a unit that got buffed recently compared to la last year's custom mystic uh, summon uh, banner. So you definitely want to start looking at him. I would say, though, for newer players, unless you really prioritize Guild Wars, maybe save him for later. But those of you that like Guild Wars a lot and also need this kind of unit, can't be stunned. For Cleavers and Agarinus, he'd be an amazing anchor, meaning he'll stay alive and demolish the team slowly uh, against standard or slower players that can't deal with him. Um, he's going to start eliminating units one by one and extinct them at the same time. Very, very good right now for all different types of playstyles, even faster players. So definitely look into him, but he's a little bit more niche. So for new players, maybe middle priority, uh, depending on how much you guys like Guild Wars as well. Now, Sage Ball is an interesting one, guys. Like Dark Corvus, a little niche in the fact that you use him to counter certain units, and this time he's going to be used to counter fast and aggressive team so for standard or slower players you're going to use him to kind of even the playing field with his combat readiness push and try to disrupt your opponent's game plan of going first and just killing you off the bat he's one of the few units that can kind of do that role so if you are already an established pvp -er, this is more for my mid to late game players and you need that you're more of a standard or slow tanky style player look into getting him as he's one of the few that can do it he is slightly getting you know more and more units come out than kind of handle him or deal with him but still one of the few units you got to look at getting him for that role so definitely for mid to late game players middle to high priority sorry to interrupt just two things very fast and we'll get right back to the video number one if y'all could subscribe to the channel it would mean so much to me we're trying to pump up those sub numbers help me out guys it would mean a ton number two if you are free to play guys ignore this part of the video but those of you that will spend or want to spend you have the means and you want to get you know some value for your account on epic 7 and another uh, a lot of other games on the Amazon App Store. Make sure y'all take advantage of the Amazon coins via the App Store. This video is sponsored by Amazon, so let's talk about it super fast. Download the Amazon App Store, download Epic 7 or any of these other amazing games and get those coins, which are just gonna save you so much money. Huge discounts. If you were gonna spend already, guys, might as well save some extra on top of that. No strings attached, that's the bottom line. Pick up the coins, download it via the Amazon App Store and start saving big time. Thank you, guys. Let's get back to the video. Moving right along, guys. We have Apocalypse Ravi. A lot of people were saying she's falling off. A lot of people started saying she started to suck. Crimson uh, Seed got nerfed, but she is still amazing, guys. You still need to get her. If you don't know who to pick, if you have no preference on looks or styles, she's good for every single play style, good in a lot of different PvP, it's maybe even some PvE modes. You got to put respect on her name. Apocalypse Ravi, one of the best bruisers, if not the best bruiser. Good for all styles, like I said. High priority for all players. Look at getting her if you have nothing else. Uh, Specimen says is a little bit more niche. He's probably better than units like um, 
uh, what Judge Key say here, but I don't think you should really highly prioritize him unless you just you know you absolutely love him. Uh, most players, especially new players, avoid him for now. You'll get him. You might pick him up later, and then you can have fun and try some comps out with him. He's not bad by any means, but there's a lot of other higher priority units. Same thing with martial artist Ken, but even worse, um, he used to be in the number one unit day one, but has long fallen off. There's just too many counter anti counter units. So many of these can just kill him uh, before he can even do anything. I would highly avoid uh, summoning him. He's just not in a good spot. Kind of the same thing with Silverblade Armintha, but probably she's a little more like in line with Spez. If you really love her, you dedicate yourself, she can look really nice and win some matches. But there's a lot of counter units, a lot of cleansers that can kind of deal with her. She's not meta by any means. Low priority for sure. Now, May Chloe might be a little biased on as she's my number one you soul weaver right now for RTA. But if you're not into that like stacking effect resist style, units like Destino can fulfill the job or do even better as they have more sustain. Um, things like that, combat readiness push, etc. But May Chloe, if you are looking to ER, uh, effect resist, she's definitely very good, especially compared to where she used to be. Spectre Tenebria, high, high priority unit, guys. Maybe the number one unit on this list. I know you should probably have picked her up for your Mystic Connection, but if you chose Judge Kisei or something else, Arbor Vildred, you gotta look at getting her. She may not be the number one unit pound for pound in terms of power levels on tier lists, but... I think she's definitely up there and for PvE, PvP, mid, new, late game, all different types of styles as well. She's even, I would even say she's more must have than Apocalypse Ravi just because she's so unique in that role of, you know, the permanent stealth um, kind of mechanic. And the fact that she does so much damage, I think she is probably one of the highest priority alongside Apocalypse Ravi. If you didn't pick her up, definitely look at getting her, guys. DJ Bazaar. Now, this one's a little bit interesting. Definitely a more higher priority pick in terms of power, but in terms of like new players getting him, I think there's a lot of alternatives. We now have the recently released like Ahmed. You have uh, Ning Ning that kind of fulfill that aggressive Soul Weaver style. He can work in a lot of different styles too, as more standard to tanky, but I would try to avoid getting him, guys, as he's a little bit hard to gear. Sometimes you need high speed or a lot of tank stats as well if you go more standard. And a lot of times you might have other Soul Weavers that can fulfill the role for now. Take a unit like a Pock Pop Ravi or Spectenny over him, but if you really like him, he's definitely a strong unit faithless lytica kind of the same thing hard to gear but very very good in the right hands newer players try to avoid it because she's super hard to gear and you need the right comp and knowledge to make her look amazing so this is more for my mid to late game players probably late game players specifically that can get enough speed on her she doesn't need enough to open but she needs to be used in the right comp used against the right opponents and you need to know how to use her effectively she can do damage she can disrupt she's really really strong um, but very hard to use so be careful picking her maybe mid to high priority depending on where you're at in the game now ambitious tywin just got the most recent round of buffs and i'm not comfortable saying too much yet as we want to see how he progresses throughout this rta season but he's definitely shaping up to be way stronger than he used to be um here and there and i think uh very very strong in certain comps as well for guild wars arena and then especially rta now with his defense break um but maybe guys newer players try to avoid as the units like spec tenny apoc are still better even though he got buffs um but if you are you were looking into getting him it's a great opportunity he's definitely a strong strong unit little queen charlotte a lot of people are a little bit undecided on her I think she, some people still swear by her. Some people think she sucks and needs buffs on the, you know, the next balance patch. In my opinion, I think she's fine where she is. Could she use a little love and buffs? Sure. Um, but that being said, you can get free units like Auden that can fulfill a similar role. Not every role, right? Little Queen Charlotte still has her place. But I do think Auden is a fine enough replacement until you get Little Queen Charlotte. Take someone else for now. And maybe she will get a little bit of buffs in the future. Now, Blood Moon Haze definitely needs some buffs. Speaking of... Speaking of that, um, not a strong unit. Revives in general just have a lot of answers already. I expect this guy probably to get a rework or buffs pretty soon as he is almost non-existent anywhere. Um, he used to be very, very good. Uh, picked like first pick in a lot of matches, but he just hasn't been seen at all. Very low priority. Now, Remnant Violet. This one is also very, very... Um, the community is undecided or very um, torn on where to put him. Some people swear by him. Some people hate him. Some people can't dodge and he just dies instantly. He does need some insane gear. You can tip build him very fast with high damage or tankier with lifesteal i like him personally but i don't rate him high priority at all um, he is hard to gear so newer players be careful picking him you'll need some insane gear for him to even look good and then he can even with insane gear he can still just die 70 percent chance to dodge if you get that 30 percent, he just dies so maybe middle priority if you like him and you know what you're doing get him if you don't know what you're doing you don't have the gear Avoid it because you're going to be disappointed when he doesn't dodge or just always. Bright Witch I see here, I think is very high priority right now. If you play that more aggressive style, she can work in standard, especially with like Guiding Light. But those of you who like to play aggressive, if you have trouble with evasion, um, revives, she kind of does it all. She does insane damage as well. Um, 
not I don't really use her as much, so I don't know how hard she is to gear. You guys let me know in the comments, but I do think uh, most people can put enough damage on her, uh, would be my guess. So she's not the hardest unit to gear, per se, and I do think she does so much for utility. If you play fast and aggressive, I would say she's one of the higher picks, higher priority picks. Last Rider Crow, I think a lot of people are predicting he should get a buff or a little love soon. Um, fulfill some niche roles, but definitely lower priority, unless you really, really love him. Uh, top model Lulica is kind of, she got some slight buffs not too long ago, but she is also a very late game unit. Needs some crazy, crazy gear to take advantage of her latest buffs. Um, but if you do like that fast aggro or cleave style, she can really, really help um, with utility as well as insane damage extinction. But she does need a ton of gear. So middle priority and really not new game, new player friendly at all. Operator Cigarette's kind of interesting. I think like Top Model Lulica, she can have a spot. anti barriers still does insane damage, but hasn't been seen as much as she used to. But if you ever pick her in the right spot against barriers and you have enough gear, she does need insane gear too. You're going to hear that a lot here, guys. That's just the state of Epic 7. With how the way gear is progressing, you need insane gear on most units. Um, she's no exception, so be careful picking her. More for experienced players and also still a little bit niche, right? Because you want to fight those barriers. Lower priority. Uh, Archdemon Shadow, not as strong as she used to be, but if you guys like that, if you guys are more standard or tanky, she, I do th expect her to make a comeback with Apocalypse Ravi also kind of being more prevalent. She is very, very strong, but you do need or want the Artifact Fairy Tale for a Nightmare with her, in my opinion. Um, the builds can vary. There's so many different types of builds. Typically on counter, though, some people like attack, crit, crit damage. Some people like effect resist and just attack. Uh, we'll get to that in another video, um, but middle priority if you know what you're doing and you like that kind of uh, counter tanky style. Designer Lilibet is, I would say, middle priority. Uh, we have units now like Ed, which are typically seen more often in anti-debuff roles. So she's an anti, uh, she's a cleanser type, right? Anti-debuffs. But I do think she's still very important to have. Um, just a little bit more niche, right? You don't pick her in every match, only when you fight those debuffs. But she can also interrupt aggro cleavers. Um, can be pretty strong. Uh, I would say like middle to high priority for my later game players that want to fulfill that kind of niche role. Solitary, I think, is insane right now. Now, for gearing, I would say she's can be hard to gear because she does want some speed, effectiveness, resist, and sometimes bulk too, depending on your style. Um, but she answers so many units on the field. If you take RTA seriously, guys, I think every player should have a Solitary ready. Some people can even do some crazy damage builds, but even just in a standard role, usually in a draft, she either must ban because she'll overwhelm the battlefield with debuffs, or she's countering a unit that needs that focus, like Sage Vivian or Remnant Violet, Archdemon Mercedes, just to name a few. There's so many units that use focus, and she counters them so hard. Um, I think if you take PvP seriously, pick her up. If you're still newer, there's more. There's going to be some units like Apocalypse Ravi, Inspector Tenebria, um, um, that are going to be more like uh, impactful, but I do think if anyone takes PvP seriously, PvP seriously, excuse me, look into getting her. You want her on your account lineup. Mediator Quag. Now this is one like Apoc Ravi, like Stanny, and a few other we're going to mention here. Very, very important. I rate this guy super high. You might see on some tier lists. Some people may not. For new players, rate him lower. But I think he's so good because he's just going to make cleansing brain dead easy. He's the best cleanser, an amazing strip unit, and right now him and Conqueror Lilius, they're being picked in RTA as a duel, and they're so, so strong. Um, I think he just pretty much does everything. There's even a bruiser build that people have been doing, so he does good damage as well if you want him to. Absolutely insane unit that you can kind of just first pick in every match, and he'll do something, if not take over in the right scenario. So very, very high priority unit. If you need that cleanse role, I think he's one of the best. Strays. Now this guy is very good. Definitely more for you, the aggressive players out there. Not as good as units like Spectany, APOC, and Hand Guy now. But I would say mid to high priority, depending for my late game players. If you want that Tank Buster style unit, still very good. His latest round of buffs made him even better. Looking at getting him if you fit that style. Closer Charles, I can't comment on too much, but I haven't seen him quite that quite as often i think he got a lot of units that can kind of counter him or units that have to be pre-banned and so or uh, or units that got opened up it, that's kind of some advanced rta stuff but there's various reasons i think he's not seen as often so be careful picking him i can't speak too much on it he was a very strong unit but i do think he's on the decline so just be careful bellion guys this one's interesting i think some players will rate her very very high up she's extremely strong but the thing is, a lot of units are gonna pre a lot of players are gonna pre banner already if their style is you know you know gets um, countered by here the anti souls anti um, or if she hits uh, reach units like Steny, I think you do want to get her eventually. But the fact that she's gonna be pre banned most of the time by players that are gonna get hard countered by her means you can probably sneak by and just rely on the pre bans to already fulfill that role. If you do like her though, I think she's great on counter or injury. Um, so you do want to pick her 
pick one up eventually but if you have to choose maybe pick one of the higher priority units that i already mentioned still amazing though you got to get her eventually next up we have spirit eye selene who unfortunately after the introduction of like bright witch iceria has another very very strong counter to her so she's very hard to use guys on defense teams guild war arena and as well as like rta you can't early pick her now that being said if you do love this unit and you want and you had your eye she can still be very very strong you just got to pick her much more carefully in the right scenarios and when she does if she doesn't have like her direct counter she will take over match or is a must ban but i wouldn't expect her or i wouldn't be surprised if she got some love in the future because she's kind of in a rough spot uh, avoid picking her unless you really really love this unit Conqueror Lilies, one of the best. Uh, probably on the level of Spectre Tunibra, Apoc Ravi, and Meteor Quirk, like I just mentioned. Just be careful, guys. Typically, I know she can probably work on slower speeds, but typically, you're going to want her very, very fast as an opener. So if you struggle with some speed subsets right now, maybe pick one of the units I mentioned that doesn't strictly need like a ton of speed. But if you can fulfill that, guys, she's absolutely insane. One of the best units right now. The Undispellable Vigor has control, extra damage to the dual attacks. So, so strong. Um, you want to get her if you like that aggressive style and can get the speed to match. Lionheart Sermia, I would rate her a little bit below those top picks, uh, maybe even lower. She's kind of on the decline, in my opinion, not as strong as she used to be because there's so much damage in the state of Epic 7 right now that where she used to be able to conquer or uh, counter units like Conquer Lilius, now she gets blown up, guys. If you don't have insane gear, and you're not careful, she'll just die before she gets to, you know, use her big skill three. That being said, if you have enough gear, especially lifesteal, tanky gear with enough damage, she can still count counter units with dual attacks, extra attacks. One of the best at that, and she's very good in PvE as well. Just be a little bit more careful, guys. So not super new player friendly because of gear and because uh, a lot of units nowadays can just kill her straight up. Next up, we have Pirate Captain Plan, and after her most re recent buffs, guys, she is absolutely insane. Used in standard styles, aggressive styles, very, very good. Can can even um, detonate and stun the highest effect resist soul weavers because of the free effect that she gets. Just be careful, guys. You do need the artifact. Um, I believe it's Summertime Iceria's artifact. Uh, deep sea something let me know guys or let people know I'll put uh, text on the bottom but you need that bomb artifact because if you don't have it uh, she her value goes way way down so either wait till you can get that artifact or just avoid her for the time being but if you do have it and especially max limit broken one of the best picks probably just right below the top priority units that I mentioned recently now Sylvan Sage Vivian is interesting I think she's along the power level like Lionheart Sermi and those ones I mentioned right below very very good right now but she does have some hard counters guys in the form of a hawk Rimuru. Um, you have units like I mentioned with Solitaria. If you can bypass those, she's insane. She can counter units like Spectre Tenebria, units like Apocalypse Ravi. She's very hard to remove, has AoE. Um, just be careful with the hard counters, and I think she's very, very strong right now. Kind of a generalist um, AoE damage dealer. Just has those units that can kind of uh, bypass her mechanics. Um, that being said, though, she looks amazing. Definitely one of the higher priority picks uh, if you already have all the rest of the top priority. Uh, Commander Powell is one I'm not too well versed with, but when I fight him, guys, he's usually either a must ban or have I have a way, a way to deal with him. Sorry, tripping over my words. I'm trying to talk so fast here, but Commander Powell, um, you guys already know the deal. Cleavers love him. Uh, you do need to set up your comps in a specific way with crit chance and all that, but if you can back up the gear um, and the speed with the accompanying squad, kind of like I mentioned with Faceless Lytica, he can be insane. But new players, probably avoid him for now because he does need a lot of uh, support as well as some insane gearing. Um, especially changing certain units that support him. Ashmancer Elena, um, I think she's okay. I, I think she's very, very strong at what she does in terms of, you know, ignoring counters. But uh, I don't think anyone really, really needs her right now. Even Cleavers, a lot of times, I don't think they opt for her. Um, I think with her recent buffs, though, she's amazing for fulfilling that role and maybe has higher priority in, like, Guild Wars or Arena. But for RTA, I don't see her too often, even as a player that picks a ton of counter units. I think there's better options out there. I have seen a few players make her look insane, but they're more of the outliers. So for generalists, 99% of y'all, try to avoid her. Okay, sorry. We made it through the five stars without taking too much time. Hopefully, guys, if you have any extra questions talking about those, just hit me up on my Twitch stream or on Discord, and I'll be able to talk with y'all more about that. But quickly, guys, I'll just go through these super, super fast. Wander Silk, one of the best speed imprints in the game. Uh, Crimson Armin is one of the, a very good knight that I use very often. Try to avoid Champion Zerato, guys. I think even though you can use him and still in that anti-debuff style, Edward is much better. And even if you don't have Edward or just want to fight debuffs, he's just... Very hard to use right now. It doesn't do enough damage. It doesn't do enough, in my opinion. But we'll be carrying very, very strong in cleave. And maybe still sometimes with stacked ER can use for anti-cleave. But that's a little bit more rare. Um, 
Assassin Sid, still kind of a good speed contester, but there's other units that can fulfill that role now. Uh, Guider Aether I've seen pop up quite a bit here, but very hard to use, I think. Be careful with that one. Watcher Shuri, very good speed imprint for cleavers, does insane damage. Uh, Oxlots has been making a comeback as well with the recent units that have come out, especially for the aggressive and cleaver style players. Uh, let's see you guys. Troublemaker Crozet has some potential as anti-cleave tank up style. Challenger Dominion I think is on the decline, but sometimes still can be good. I see her a little bit here and there, uh, just not nearly as much as she used to be. Sinji, Sinful Angelic, I think with Briar Witch Ice out, I haven't seen her at all. Um, probably not as good as she used to be. Inferno Kawazu can be a great anti-tank buster, but same thing. I don't see him quite nearly as much as he used to be. Angel Light Angelic, guys, this is the simple pick. If you don't have her, just pick this unit up for your four-star. Super insane, five-star level, busted, very annoying to fight against. Uh, Backhead Armin, actually not as much of a meme as she used to be. She did get like some adjustments to her kit. Can be strong more for the out-of-the-box uh, players, though. And last but not least, guys, we have Moon Bunny Dominial, who, if you don't have AOL, could be a good pickup. I do think she counters some of the most recent units or has some potential counter units like a mid, maybe a little bit like Conquer Lilius. Depends on how far into the game you are, as well as how much gear you can give her and how well-versed you are fighting those specific lineups. All right, guys, we'll wrap it up there with the four stars. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any extra info because we went through this super quick, please hit me up on my Twitch or Discord, and we can talk more in depth and help you guys choose the best unit for you. We'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.